Okay, let's go ahead and talk to her. Do you have an interim mail? Yes, we do. Uh, you'll notice that I've actually had him forever. His name is Trade, because I knew I was going to do this. Trade will be sent to Sage, I think was her name. Interesting. Oh, look at that. This is the first time that we've actually been able to see an in-game trade, if I'm not mistaken. Goodbye, Nidoran Mail. And we will get a new Pokemon. Although, we did already catch one of these, but again, I think I, rem I, think I said in the route before that these have such a low encounter rate that, you know, there you go. So, this is Take Good Care of Miss Nido. This is Miss Nido. Thanks, you're a pal. Awesome. Look at that. So, interestingly enough, this Miss Nido is, has a fixed nature. It will always be bold, always be met in a trade, always be holding a tiny mushroom. Its ID number will be different from us. Uh, it will always have that thing. It will be the level of the Pokemon that you traded it for. We will to go ahead and take the tiny mushroom from it. Uh, and it gets experience because it's a traded Pokemon. It gets experience faster than anything else, which is why I have it, because this way I figured we can level it up to a Nid Arena pretty quickly, and then obviously into a Nidoqueen. Queen. I think that's I think that's pretty cool. And the underground path. There are a ton of hidden items here that uh, we are not going to totally worry about right now. And then Stupid Me realizes that we can't do anything right now anyways because we don't have the item finder, so we can't get any of the items apparently anyways because I'm stupid. Right here we can talk to her. People often lose things. Yeah, and we weren't able to find any of them because I'm stupid. Whatever. Whatever. Welcome to Route 6 in Kanto. Right up here we can find some items. Yes. We can grab a Citrus Berry, which is beautiful. That restores about 30 health if I'm not mistaken. Pretty nice to have. And if I'm not mistaken, there's also an item right here. A rare candy! Even better. Hell yeah. And there are no new Pokemon that we can currently find on this route. So we can just we can just continue. Uh, we Again, if we go into here on this side, we're still not going to be able to find anything. Uh, he's just going to stop us and be like, you can't come through here. And we'll be like, alright dude, whatever man. Alright, so now we have some trainer fights. Though, most of them aren't going to be anything dramatic. Uh, but I'll show them just because you guys asked me to show all the trainer fights. So let's go ahead and do it. These are going to be kind of quick. Uh, basically, they're not going to be too much. A bug catcher? We just fought a, a Starmie? And you want to send out a Weedle against us? Are you joking? Whatever. We'll be able to kill this no problem. Just a, a little bit of an ember. Down goes Weedle. Ah, I love having a Charmeleon whenever we face bug types. And grass types. Hey, grass types. So, obviously, the third gym is coming up. But we'll be fine. We're actually totally fine for it. We don't even... I'm honestly not even a little bit worried. Alright. Use Ember yet again. Down goes Weetle. Weetle. Will that get us to level 21? Wow. Alright. I wasn't really expecting that, but I'll take it. I'll take it. And a Caterpie. Really? Three Pokemon, two Weedles, and a Caterpie. There was no point to show this fight, you viewers. <laughs> Whatever, you guys want to see it. I want you to be happy. Alright, cool. So, Kaigo? No, you're kidding. No, I'm not. And he only gave us $192 for winning. I like bugs, so I'm going back to Viridian Fort. As you should, dude. As you should. So, we can go ahead and talk to this couple over here and see what they have. This is Cool Trainer or Camper? Camper Ricky. Has a Squirtle. Wow. We haven't seen a starter Pokemon in a while. That wasn't ours. Uh, I didn't really mean to use Scratch, because uh, I think Ember will actually do more. Uh, no, actually. Alright, well. I mean, we really should switch out. Would be the smart thing to do, Cory. Jeez, I'm so bad at this game. Nope, not not to not to Nidoking. Nidoking is, you're going to notice, is going to like wreck everything for a very long time, and I don't quite want to do that just yet. Especially when we get to the next gym. Having a ground-type Pokemon is pretty much the best thing you can hope for. Alright, stop squirting on us, Squirtle. Wow, he did a lot of damage. That's the thing with Pikachu. Super fast, hits relatively hard, but damn, can it not take a hit. Agumon got 141. Wow, that was almost no experience for either of them. That's too bad. That's too bad. Uh, we'll switch Agumon out just because I really don't want him to die. That would be embarrassing. And we'll switch Clefairy in. Even though Clefairy is not a strong party member right now, I should say Kyrie. I need to use their nicknames. 
but I keep forgetting to use their nicknames because I'm stupid. Picnicker Nancy is going to send out a Rattata. Uh, all right, we can deal with a Rattata. Oh, that sparkle. Uh, God, I love being shiny. We'll just double slap it to death. Level 16 Rattata. There is one trainer of interest on this route, though. Um, because I don't believe we've actually fought the Pokemon that they have. We have the Pokemon that they have, but we haven't actually fought anybody with it, which is interesting. We'll get 195 experience for that, and Pikachu will come out. Um, you know what? You know what? Let's just go ahead and use our Nidoking, just for its debut battle here. Look at it! Oh my god, it looks so good. I love it so hard. Alright, let's go ahead and thrash. And, goodbye Pikachu. <laughs> just did not even stand a chance. I love it. I love it. Ah, Nido King, you're gonna carry our team for a very long time. Very long time. Alright. And I think this is the trainer that I'm talking about. I think. I've seen you around. Are you good? I'm very good. Very good. Alright, this is Bugcatcher Elijah, who has one Pokemon. It's a Butterfree. Oh, Butterfree. I love Butterfree so much. I wish it was better. I wish it was better. If anybody is watching the live streams currently of Leaf Green, you will know that we had a Butterfree on our team for up until about Koga. And then literally I was like, it. I can't use it. I just can't use it. Confuse. Oh, Parafusion. That sucks, man. Yep. It's like 50% chance that we wouldn't attack there. Come on, Kyrie. Come on, Kyrie. Yeah! Nice! That Mega Kick is going to do some damage. Alright. I, I didn't think it would kill it, but it would have been nice if it did. And we snapped out of Confusion! Nice. Oh, no! Missed. We missed. I don't know if anybody can hear my dogs barking, but that's wonderful. Alright, cool. Oh, come on, Kyrie. Come on, Kyrie. And we're confused again. Parafusion yet again. Come on. Come on, you can do this. You can do this. Yeah! <laughs> Maybe Kyrie will hit level 21 on this. Oh, definitely. Definitely. 685 experience for that Butterfree. Nice. Trying to learn Minimize. Uh, we actually don't want it to learn Minimize. Minimize is cool. It, it uh, raises your evasion. But uh, it's Ky it's it's a it's a Clefairy. We don't we don't need that. We don't need that at all. So it's still paralyzed. So I'm going to switch in. All of my team is pretty low right now, to be honest with you. We'll switch in Pikachu. If I'm not mistaken, uh, this trainer right here has a, uh, a Pidgey? Me? Well, okay, I'll play. There's not a ton of trainers. We're about to get into the third city in the entire game, which, er, well, I guess not. I guess fourth city, technically. Fi fifth city? No. Yeah, so it has a Pidgey, so we'll easily be able to kill Pidgey. This should one-shot it. And it's next. Her next one is. Doesn't she have three? Yeah, okay. So I think she has two Pidgeys and a Rattata, if I'm not mistaken. See, even a quick attack from a level 16 Pidgey did like nine damage. That's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. 187. Not bad. And oh, three Pidgeys. Alright, well, that's even better than I thought. Chew can just wash over this entire team. She's going to have some trouble if she wants to battle the gym leader in Vermilion City. She's going to have some problems. Alright, cool. 187. And how much money will you give us? 320. Wow. Wow. We have half a million Poké Dollars, so like, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Alright, so the last trainer on this route is Camper Jeff. I have. Uh, who has a Spiro? We'll be able to one-shot it again, no problem. I, I'm pretty sure. Firo's uh, less defensive than Pidgey, so... Definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I also apologize that my voice is a little a little rough. Uh, I'm a little bit sick. Not entirely, but... Raticate! Uh, yeah, we'll just use Thundershock. It's not gonna kill it, I don't think, but... Oh, wow, not even a little. Not even a little. Also, how is this Raticate level 16? I thought Raditza evolved at level, like, 20. That's weird. I'm pretty sure it does. Let's use Thundershock again. 
Obviously, these... Oh, shoot. These fights could have... That'll kill Pikachu. Uh, these fights could have been a lot easier if we had... Uh, I'm going to send out Agumon. If we used our Zidane. He would be able to, like... Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Cool. Bye, Eradicate. Nice. 397. Not too... Not too good. Camper Jeff, that stinks. I couldn't beat your challenge. Th another 320. Not too bad. All right, cool. We are done with them. Welcome to Vermilion City. I have no idea how long this episode is. So, we can talk to this trainer right here. The urge to battle with someone you've tangled with before. Have you ever had that urge? I'm sure you have. I wanted to battle certain people again over and over too. So, I've been giving this a wee. A wee. A wee. We will get the Versus Seeker, the key item that will allow us to challenge other t trainers that we've already defeated to battle, which is nice. Uh, none of these other guys will actually say anything or give us anything, but worth mentioning that you can talk to people, as always. <laughs> All right. Uh, if I'm going to deposit, I'm going to keep Pe uh, Meowth in the party, but I will deposit Miss Nido that we got here. It's just not necessary to have in the party right now. And we have, we have 32, 30, how many Pokemon do we have? I think we have 31. 31 Pokemon at this point in the game is amazing. So, let's go into this building real quick, and we can talk to this guy. I'm the fishing guru. I simply love fishing. Do you like to fish? Yes. He will give us the old rod. The old rod is only to catch Magikarp, as most of you know. Uh, and we already have a Gyarados, so like, we don't need to use the old rod ever. Thank God. Uh, we can talk to people if we want. There's not going to be... SSN is here. Interesting. We've heard Grimer multiplies. And we haven't seen a Grimer. Oh, yeah, we have seen a Grimer. Uh, there's a Machop here that is doing this guy's handiwork. I'm putting up a building on this plot of land. I own it all. My Pokemon is tamping the land. Pokemon are so useful, man. So useful. All right. Perhaps the biggest deal here... ...is this guy. Everybody knows this guy. I chair the Pokemon Fan Club. I raise more than a hundred Pokemon. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon, I surely am. So, did you come to hear about my Pokemon? Good, then listen up. My favorite is Rapidash. It's cute, lovely, smart, plus amazing, you think so? Oh yes, it's stunning. Kindly love it. Hey, I'll get when sleeping warm and cuddly, spectacular, ravishing. Oops, look at the time. I kept you too long. Thanks for hearing me out. I want you to have this. And he will give us a bike voucher. Awesome, man. Exchange that for a bicycle free of charge. Don't worry, my favorite Firo will fly me anywhere I need to go. Awesome. So we got a million dollar bike for free, <laughs> which is gnarly. Uh, so we can go into this house as well. And I forgot I actually need to do something before we do that. Hang on. Hey, back in this house. We can talk to this girl. Hi, do you have a Spiro? Want to trade one for my Farfetch'd? Yes, and we do have a Spiro. That's crazy. So we can go ahead, trade our Spiro to Alyssa here, and we will get a Farfetch'd. The only Farfetch'd that we can get in the entire game, which is kind of cool. Look at this. Two trades in one video. It's like the trading video. Trading. Training? Trading. Trading video. What am I even talking about, Corey? You're crazy, man. You've lost your damn mind. All right, and Alyssa ch sent over Chiding. We got Chiding. <laughs> Take good care of Chiding. All right, so just like the other trade, if we look at Chiding here, we will see that it has uh, adamant nature. It always will. It's a normal flying type. It is awful. And, uh, yeah. And it knows the move Peck, and it has a stick. We'll go ahead and take the stick from Chiding. And, also, we'll go ahead and take the Person Berry from, from Meowth. So, let's go over the bio for Farfetch'd as well. So, this is the only time that you can get Farfetch'd in the entire game. It's number 83 in the Pokedex. It's a normal flying type. And, unfortunately, it just can't be recommended on a team. At all. Not competitively, and definitely not in single player. Farfetch'd has no use on a team. This is a Pokemon that absolutely needs to get an evolution in Sun and Moon, and I would very much like to see it become like a, a giant warrior bird with like a spear onion, like its onion turns into a spear. Anyways, don't use it. Don't use Farfetch'd. No. Just, just don't. 
All right, so now that we're done with that, we can go down here and visit some of the houses. So obviously we're going to explore uh, Vermilion since this is the first time we can get here. Uh, not a big deal. She's just going to talk about the mail system that's in these games. And uh, we hear about Saffron City for the first time. Not a huge deal. Nothing, nothing amazing is happening right now. And I don't believe there's any new items that we can get in the mart here that are worth it. I think Pokemon could be good or bad. Depends on the trainer. Yeah, so let's buy... Uh, there is nothing new that we can get here, so I'm not, I'm not too worried about that. And let's go, there are wicked people who will use Pokemon for crimes. Yeah, they also abandon Pokemon that they consider unpopular. That's true, they do. They definitely do. So, if we go this way, we will, down here is our way to SSN, which is eventually where we need to go. However, there is stuff this way as well that we will tackle in the next episode. Right here is Diglett's Cave, which we can find uh, Diglett's, a ton of Diglett's in. And we can grab this Awakening right here. It's also worth mentioning that if we run all the way over here and hopefully not get into any battles, um, any, any trainer battles anyways. I would like to not get into any trainer battles. Okay. And we can come here, ah, damn it. So we can grab this item, which is an X Defend. That's the first X item that we've actually seen in the game so far. I don't want to fight this trainer at all. Alright. So we made it through there. That's good. Right here, we can go through. And we can actually go through enough to be able to go into this room up here. If we go ahead and talk to this aide, remember me, I'm one of Professor Oak's aide. If your Pokedex has a complete data on 30 species, I'm supposed to give you an award. We will get the item finder. This early, we can get the item finder. Because we have 32 Pokemon. That's crazy. I'm. That's obviously why I'm doing this. Is so I can get items like this. Use the item finder to detect any hidden items close to you. The machine is a bit limited. It can't point, pinpoint the directions. It's fine. The item finder is, is kind of useless. But sometimes you need it for certain things. I'm looking for the Pokemon Nidorino. Want to trade one for my Nidorina? So this is another time that we can trade... And it's worth doing, too, if you immediately want a Nidorina. I will take advantage of that trade, but not on screen. Through here, <laughs> we will find that we cannot progress because there is a big old fat Pokemon right here. Hmm. I wonder what Pokemon that is. <laughs> Alright, so back on Route 11, we can cut... Ah! Nope! Oh, wow. Okay, he didn't fight us. That was amazing. Right here, we will get a Great Ball. Is that the first Great Ball that we found? I believe so. I believe it is. So, I'm super surprised that that guy didn't fight us. Right here, you can talk to this stone, and we will find an escape rope. All right. Back to Ver uh, Vermilion City. Whoa! Just barely made it through there. Okay, cool. So we're going to worry about Diglett's Cave in the next episode. We're not going to go there yet. Same with SSN. Same with all of those trainers that we just saw on Route 11. Same with the Pokemon that we have seen there. So in the next episode, we will take care of all of that. Uh, remember that what I said earlier in the episode uh, at the beginning about a Pokemon thing. So if I'm looking for nicknames, I'm going to rename all of my Pokemon based on your guys' suggestions. We're starting with Kyrie. The person that wins and gets to uh, name Kyrie, the one that I like the most or gets the most upvotes in the comments, will get a Mew card. Nice. So my question of the day for all of you as well is what is your favorite Pokemon game? Mine is Soul Silver. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like the video. It really, really, really does help me out. And remember, never give up, never surrender. Hello friends and viewers, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, it helps tremendously. Be sure to share the channel with all of your friends, and stay tuned for the next episode of Pokemon Fire Red.